What's up guys? Today we have the shoe that broke the internet. We got the Mischief Big Red Boot and we're gonna see if they're possible to skateboard in and giving them a rating based off how good they skate. So let's get right into it. We're gonna determine the rating of how good or bad these shoes are for skating based off of their looks, how they flick and feel on the board, how well they protect your feet, and the practicality of wearing them. To start it off, we're gonna rate the shoes looks. Looks matter to skaters because when we feel like we look better, we skate better. Even just starting off with the unboxing of the shoe, the whole shoe just has this massive big red cartoony vibe that's really new to the sneaker game. And it looks really well made and detailed even down to the box details. The bottom of the shoe has these really cool traction lines plus a little bit of mischief branding. And for the shoe itself, there's just no other shoe like it. It really does look straight out of a cartoon because of their smooth and unproportionately sized look. And if you decide to put your pants over the boots like this i think it gives them a lot more of a low-key look and i actually think they look a lot better this way so because of the shoes super unique and cool vibe i rate the looks a 9 out of 10 next we're gonna rate how they flick and feel on the skateboard this was for sure the scariest part of making this video because i had no idea what these were gonna feel or skate like and the only way to find out was by standing on it and trying it out my first impression of standing on the skateboard with these was that it felt like i was on stilts because of how platform the boots are and i knew it was finally time to try tricks so why not start off with an ollie Definitely not my best ollie, but it kind of worked. Then I went for some shove it. After I started landing those, I wanted to do a kickflip, which was definitely going to be a hard trick in these because you can't flick and move your ankles, which is a very important part about doing a kickflip. After almost like a dozen attempts, I started to get a little bit closer until I finally managed to land a few. Definitely not my best kick flips, but it worked out. Next, I wanted to do heel flips, and those are a little easier in these because you don't have to flick your ankle as much on a heel flip, so I did land a few of those. And now to truly test how well these shoes flick and feel, I had to try it on a bunch of obstacles, so I did some more flat ground tricks. Then I took them to this box right here, got that first try. I even took them to a rail. Definitely a sketchy trick in these. I took them to this ramp to do some simple transition tricks like a drop in and a kick turn. Both very sketchy as well on these. All the skating in them felt very sketchy and hard for me, so I rate the flick and board feel a 1 out of 10. Next, we're going to rate how well they protect your feet, and I'm even going to hit some gaps. But first, let's see what's inside the shoe. If you look inside, the first thing you're going to see is some info about the shoe, like the size and where it was made. But this is actually an insole that you can take out, and it's a pretty soft, comfy, floppy insole. And under that is this rubber. And with the combination of the insole and the rubber, it actually does a good job at protecting the feet. So I thought I'd send it down some gaps to truly test that. I first wanted to do it down the six stair, and luckily I got it first try, so I thought I would step it up and do it on this super tall three block. This gap was way bigger than the six stair, but I knew I had to try it to test the shoe's limits, and the first attempt didn't go super well. It definitely hurt my body, but my feet felt fine, which is the whole purpose of this test. So got up there, tried it again, and rolled away clean. Clean. None of the primos or landings hurt my feet at all the entire day and even when the board hits your feet It deflects it so well you don't even feel it They do protect your feet super well, but are very dangerous to the rest of your body So I give their protection a 7 out of 10 and lastly we're gonna rate the shoes practicality And there's gonna be a lot of things that are obviously not practical about skating this big chunky red boot But to get into the specifics the first impractical thing is how your ankles can't move freely Which makes it hard and feel weird to do almost all skate tricks and for me probably the most impractical thing about them was the hard rubber at the top of the shoes digging into my shins and it ripped out a lot of my leg hair and gave me a pretty bad rash. Definitely one of the least practical shoes I've ever tried for skating and I give their practicality a 1 out of 10. So when you combine the ratings of their looks, their flick and feel on the board, their foot protection, and their practicality. Overall, they get a 4.5 out of 10 for their skate rating. So that's it for the Mischief Big Red Boot skate review. Definitely a cool shoe, but don't recommend skating in them. If you guys like the video, drop a like. If you like this kind of content, hit the sub button, and let me know in the comments what you want to see next. See you guys in the next one.